Hey, what's up, everybody? This is FSA Guy 808, and it has been a long time since I've made a tutorial, but I'm happy to say now that I am back and have some more tutorials, tips, and a proof video coming soon for the rest of you guys. This is going to be a quick video on an advanced technique that I and many of the veterans use on GetRef.com and has come in handy and saved us quite a bit of credits. So let's jump right into this. I think you're going to like it. All right, so let's pause this for a second and I'll explain to you what's going to happen before actually showing you so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. So let me break it down really quick before we delve into the step-by-step -step details on what we're going to be doing. Basically, the checking your referral status is if you get a referral coming in and that person actually messages you after signing up, and signing up just means signing up on your free offer site with their email address, they message you and say, hey, I've completed an offer. Sometimes those people are scamming you saying, hey, I completed an offer because they're not they're kind of stupid. They don't really know how the site works. They're thinking maybe I can tell this guy, which in case would be you, I did an offer, but they really didn't. So you want to check the referral status and get that com you know, completely checked. How you do that is basically messaging them back saying, hey, great, thanks for you know, signing up on the site. I can and check the site, make sure they did sign up with their email. So tell them, hey, I, I can see you have signed up with this email, blah, 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 email. Let me know what offer you've, you've finished or you plan on finishing. Then going to that free offer site, going to my account and starting a support ticket and asking them, hey, did this person at this email address complete their offer correctly? And then about a day or two later, they're going to send you a message saying, hey, yes or no. And the way they, they word it is kind of weird, so we'll check that out. And... And depending on what happens, we'll let you know what to do, whether to accept that person, pay them their credits, or decline that person, and save you from losing your credits. So that's basically what this is in a nutshell. Let me go through this really quick and show you how to do it. So first step, let's go ahead, log into getref.com, bring us to our homepage. The quick tip that we're going to be learning is checking your referral status. As you can see, I have one referral pending right here. And how I have it set up is that they're supposed to message me through the mail system on GetRef, let me know that they're interested in, in not only after signing up, but doing a, an offer. So what I'm going to do is take you to one of my programs that I have up at the moment. And here's my description. It says, if you are serious about completing an offer, message me within one hour or I will decline. No questions asked. Even if the person signs up on the site using their email, they don't contact me, I decline them. That's in my description. However, however, if the person does message me within that hour and after signing up, even if they don't do an offer, go to just this, for example, this guy. Um, says, hey, I finally got the blah, blah, blah. Here's his email he gives me, blur that out. And he's letting me know that he signed up on the site. So I'm going to go over to that site and log in. I'm going to go to, this is a site that I've already finished, but I'm using it as an example. I'm going to check the referral status. He said in his email that he had completed the offer and signed up. So I'm going to check its status. First things first, to check the status while you're on the main page of your free offer site is to scroll down to your referrals section, scroll down to where their email pops up, and make sure they did sign up. If they didn't even sign up, decline them. I don't care what they say. You know, Maybe message them telling them, hey, I don't think you signed up right. If they don't answer or if they tell you that they did, decline them. Next step, click on My Account, and then go click on Support Tickets. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. You see I've done this before. And you'll probably do this per ref after you learn how to do this. And click on New Support Ticket. Name it whatever you want. I'm putting an example. And subject is going to be Can You Verify. You don't have to do it word for word, but this is uh, pretty much how I do it. And I've already copied this down. I'll put this wording verbiage in the, the description. So I'm going to paste it here. And it's basically saying, Can you verify that example at blah.com? This is just you know, a fake email, has completed their offer requirements correctly. And then you're going to click the Submit button. 
it takes about a day or two for them to get back to you. And then after about a day or two, you're going to go back to your support tickets and you're going to see the little symbol right here. The status on the support ticket is going to be open or closed. If it's open, that means they haven't answered it yes. yet. If it's closed, go ahead and click on it and you're going to find this. Here's one that I have. Can you verify that blah, 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 this website has completed their offer requirements? And you're going to see as of this time, they appear to be participating in accordance with our terms and conditions. If they did what they were supposed to do, Train is going to answer back and tell you that, you know, they're fine. If they didn't do what they were supposed to do, it's going to say something like this. It's going to say, this person violated the terms and conditions, or this person hasn't clicked on any of the offers yet. If they have something that pops up like that, then go back to getref.com, message that person on the message system, and pretty much copy and paste what the train site said, and decline them. And by doing that, by declining someone who didn't do what they were supposed to do, it saves you credits and time. So you can save be quite a bit and I have I mean I, I do this all the time I check every referral that comes through I check everyone that messages me and say hey I signed up I check their email right away so depending on the response that you get from train whether that person did what they're supposed to do or not if they did then you can go back to getref.com accept the transaction if their referral has gone green already and be good to go. You got an awesome referral and someone who did what they were supposed to do. If not, which most of the time it is probably like one out of every 10 or 20 people actually does what they're supposed to do. But the rest of them, you're going to find out they didn't do it. Just simply decline them. Move on. If they message you asking why, tell them why. And then copy and paste what Train said. So that's pretty much how this process works. If you have any questions or I didn't explain it right, leave a comment down below. Rate five stars if this helped you in any way. Message me on YouTube, on this channel, or on getref.com at fsaguy808, and I'll be happy to help out. Okay, also as a side note, um, there have been a couple of people who have taken my videos, ripped them from YouTube, and put them on their channel. So unless you see my videos on not on this channel, then it's not for me. They have to be on this channel, Raging Genocide, which I know is weird because I go by fsaguy808, quick backstory this channel was originally my personal YouTube channel now it's just um, it's what I use mainly for get ref videos so that's why the name is different but anyway if you don't see the video on this channel then it's not for me it's not legitimate and also subscribe I do have more tutorials coming out in the next few weeks also a proof video with live footage of some of the things that I've gotten my old computer I have a surround sound system my iPod touch a lot of things that I'd, I'd like to show on camera that I've gotten through the help of these sites and I thought it would be cool to post up a proof video because every once in a while I get a comment saying fake or you know they don't they don't believe what I'm posting up here is real so I thought why not make a proof video so stay tuned and I'll see you guys later